I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a successful kind of girl. Have been for some time now. And image is everything to me. The kind of car I drive, it has to be the right car for me. Back there in the 80s, it was the Porsche Turbo. Fast, powerful, a bit like me, really. Then in the 90s, <laughs> well, it was the BMW, of course. Reassuringly expensive, well-built, stylish. So, in the year 2000, what do you think a girl like me drives now? Well, I've got one out front. Do you want to have a look? It's this. It's the all-new Seat Rossa. I mean, you didn't think I could possibly afford the fuel for the Porsche nowadays. And the BMW, can't find anywhere for it to park. But this, you know, it's perfect. <laughs> Well, now I'm actually in the car, I can drop the image for a bit. You know, you don't have to have a sports car to have fun these days, and you don't have to break the bank to get a good quality car. And that's why these practical little super minis, well, they're selling like hot cakes. Now let's start with the build quality. This Seat is based on a very successful VW Lupo, which is a good start. And it's amazing to see things like this cup holder here is found in a much more expensive, much more high-spec Audi. In fact, all the switches and the buttons are, well, they're reassuringly German, actually, even if the car is Spanish. Before I get involved in talking about performance and specification, I'm going to do a little experiment to show you just how practical this lovely little Seat is. And for this, I need um, a willing volunteer. Oh, you'll do. Yeah, you. Come on, come here. Quick, 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 bring your bag. Turn around, turn around. Lovely. Right, get in. Although they look small on the outside, it's deceptive because you can quite easily get one, two, three, four lanky cameramen in with room left over for their gear. It's like the TARDIS in there. This is the 1.4 16 valve with the engine producing a hefty 100 horsepower, yet it's still very economical, achieving over 40 miles per gallon. Now the newer Rossa has twin headlamps in line with its bigger brothers, which gives it a more grown-up style. The body shell has also been restyled with sporty alloy wheels coming as standard. The interior has also been given a makeover. It's funky, stylish, and see it have obviously used high quality materials throughout. Look, Charles, just sell the shares. Yes, sell them now, okay? Bye. All this work and no play. I thought life was supposed to be about having an enjoyable time. Well, this car's supposed to be fun. Let's go and have some. Hey, you know, this car really is quite nippy. The suspension has been developed so that it handles really well at low speeds, but then when you do put your foot on the accelerator, it stays really stable. You know, I think that Seat have done it. They've actually got a car that looks sporty, and it feels sporty as well. It'll be your best friend when you're out on the open road, and then when you get in the city, it's pretty good too, which leads me neatly onto parking. Take a look at this.
was only joking, I can't imagine many big executives trading in the BMWs for one of these little tiny Seattle Rossas, but they don't know what they're missing. It really is a practical little car. It's sporty, it's only a low insurance group, cheap to run, especially in today's economy, and most of all, it's loads and loads of fun. Hmm, fun, I wonder. Bear with me a second. Hello? Yep, Giles, hi, it's Glenda. I've decided, um, I'm not going to come back to work. I found a new free spirit. I'm going to stay and live in Spain with my new Seattle Rossa. Yes, bye. <laughs>